All right, there is a stripper in the daycare. What the hell? Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I am an old guy gaming. And we're going to start off this episode by doing this next job for Wreck the Richmond Residence. Uh, definitely, I don't think I've done this uh, even in experimental. Not sure if it's a new POI or just a reimagined older one. Uh, but before we start with that, I did, on the uh, way over here, I did a little bit of looting, and I found some acid some uh the the archery magazine that lets us make exploding uh crossbow bolts and flaming arrows and the sniper magazine that allows us to uh, cripple opponents by hitting them in the leg all right so good stuff Let's see, I don't think we have any points to spend at the moment, but we're about three quarters away to the next level. I'm really enjoying this 300% XP. <laughs> it's just refreshing to, you know, be able to level up three times as fast as normal for a change. Um, so, yeah, that's, having fun with that. Hope you guys are uh, still enjoying this series. I'm very much enjoying this series. And uh, we're going to, uh, if everything goes according to plan, we'll have lots more to come. So I think I already hit this car over here. Oh, maybe I didn't. I guess not. Look at that. Didn't hit it. And we will take both of those things, in particular, the repair kits. You know, it's interesting, too. Uh, my knife is just a tad under 50%. Um, and I haven't repaired it yet since we started this whole series. So the durability on that's been nice. I've looted the school bus and the mailboxes and some of that stuff out there. Okay, so this is a retrieve quest. Let's go ahead and get it started. Obviously, they want us to climb up the trellis there. Um, let's see. That school bus, I'm sure, is not on this POI. Nope. But the mailbox will be, so let's recheck the mailbox before we go inside. And we got a sledgehammer magazine. Okay, cool. Let's check the vehicle. Okay, we'll take all that stuff. Check the workstation. Back here, let's just... Since we're in the garage, we might as well check it all right now. Um, that is an upgrade for us, actually, because we're wearing a cloth hood. So let's repair this. And we will take the mod off of here, put it on here. All right. Good. We are a ranger with a football helmet. Let's, uh, I don't think there's a, a professional football team called the Rangers. There's a baseball team. Um, could be wrong about that though. I am not a sports person. Just, uh, never really have, it's never really been, has been my thing, you know, but if you are more power to you, just not really my forte. I have nothing against it, but I'd rather play seven days to die than watch football. Uh, my wife, on the other hand, actually, she's the, she's the sports fan in our family. You know what? We might as well sell that, actually. Um, we'll get a decent amount of coin uh, from that. Uh, these are not really worth selling. Let's just grab those for the cloth. Oh, we want to put the, our luckies back on, too, while we're doing a POI. These we can turn into iron arrows, except for I don't have any arrowheads with me, so that's fine. Um, these will turn into cobblestone. Just trying to free up a couple of slots here is all. All right, that's good enough. So it doesn't look like there's anything else here in the garage for us. Uh, so let's actually go around and start the the job here from uh, the starting path, which is up here. Oh, and that brings us right back down into the garage. Actually, though, is that where we're supposed to go? I don't think so. I think we're supposed to go in here. Yeah. Whoa. I did get the dew collector set up last night in uh, at the base, so we're doing good there. Wow. 
Okay. <laughs> we escaped that disaster. Um, but it does want us to go down that way. So we will anyways. We're just going to go down on our own terms instead of on the booby trap terms. Just taking a peek and seeing what's over that way. Get some cloth here. So it would have dropped us down there. There's a yo right there. Or not a yo, a bow. That's a bow, not a yo. Um, okay. I do have the SMG now, but I want to continue to be as stealthy as possible and also conserve our ammo as much as reasonably possible, too. That's, I think that's the crotch of a Marlene. <laughs> Let's uh, see if there's anybody in there first. Oh, no, that was Jiggly. Okay, I couldn't tell. Come on over here. All right, stay there then. Let's see if we can get a, a bleed on you. Okay. Off with her body that time. It wasn't her head, it was her body that flew off. Okay, let's uh, grab our arrow out of here. Nice, that's pretty good loot. The satchel is this way. In fact, it's just right around the corner, it looks like. Check these shelves. Nice, we've got a rifle magazine, and we can now craft pipe quality too, but we don't care so much about that now, because we have a quality three. Once we get to the point where we can craft a quality four, then we'll switch it out if we don't come across something better before then. All right, check these cupboards here. I think that's it. Some stone. We are to grab the satchel there. And this just kind of brings us around full circle. I don't even know why I'm grabbing those chairs. We don't really need to. I don't need the golden rod. <coughs> Let's scrap this because we can make those easily in the forge. I already have a spare cooking pot. The thing is, though, is I'm going to actually hang on to these and any grills we come by, because what we'll do is we'll take those to our other outposts so that each outpost will have, you know, uh, that equipment. So we are going to hang on to those. We don't need this. Let's scrap that. In fact, we don't need the bones at all, really. Those are super easy to come by. We could turn these two glue into duct tape, but that's not going to gain us a, a slot, so we'll just leave it the way that it is for the moment. All right, so we came down those stairs. Um, did we... Stuck. Did we go in this room here? We did not. Nails will scrap, because, again, very easily made now in our forge. We don't care about those anymore. Um, until I get a wrench, I'm not going to go hog wild with, you know, s scrapping a bunch of stuff. Okay, that door's locked. Okay, I think we're finished downstairs on, on this floor. So let's head upstairs. We got a little porch out here, which is kind of nice. Um, Don't want or need that because it's going to make us thirsty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a toilet here. With some water. Yay. Sleeper around here somewhere. Let's get rid of this. They're probably in the room next door. Yes, there's a Darlene right there. There's another one nearby. Let's 
some medical supplies in here. Nice. We can make the regular first aid bandage now, too. We found that one or two episodes back. I don't remember, <clears throat> excuse me, which one it was. I'm going to start hanging on to casings now, too, because uh, as soon as we can get the workbench, then we can start uh, making ammunition. Um, There was something I was going to do. Oh, yeah, this. Let's turn this into cobble. We're doing good on food and beverage, and I have a, a couple of additional bacon and eggs in there. Oh, here's some clothes. We, I think we're still wearing a couple of... Oh, nice. You know what that means? That means pocket mods. Yeah, we need to find a, a shirt. We're still wearing a plant fiber shirt. Everything else has been upgraded since then. That has a pocket mod, and that has a pocket mod. So we actually can't make another pocket mod until we find some kind of a jacket because we can't put pocket mods on armor. All right, fair enough. We will do that when the time comes. What is this? Oh, I was hoping that was the double, the double pockets. Uh, this is footwear. Okay. One of the most useless magazines in this entire game. Look at that. Two... Not one, ladies and gentlemen, but two tactical warfares. Love it. We can now make a pipe quality machine gun too, but we're not going to wor worry about that at all because we got the MP5 now. Not in for a while anyways. And yeah, I know that's a different class, but for our purposes, it's one and the same. For now. Um, uh, I just had a... I, I lost my train of thought again. I... I don't know. I, w I can't remember what I was going to do. Okay, never mind. Let's just keep keep on keeping on. Grab the cloth from there. That's what happens when you get old, man. You have a thought that comes into your head and then poof, it's gone. There's a shirt. Okay, good. So let's take the pocket mod off of you. Put it onto you. And then where are you and get rid of you. All right. So we finally now have an actual set of clothing on our body. It's a good thing. There's an attic. Anything up here? Yeah, there's a little trash up here with some sand, which we don't need. Oh, you know what? I think I have been in this house, but it's been a really long time. This is the one that has the little... So, some kind of weird uh, ritual bullshit coming on, going on up here. There's three of you. I don't know where he was going. Beautiful. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've actually done this house. What in the hell? I don't even want to know. Okay. Let's go here. Ah, oh, very good. Very good. Bow parts. Love it. Nope. <laughs> Give me that back. I was trying to do my axe, not my Molotovs. Good thing it wasn't ignited, huh? That's pretty nice stuff. We'll take that. And then the fat loots. Oh, baby, look at this. Wow. Okay, um, we can take those. I think these are an upgrade from what we're currently wearing. So let's just transfer a couple of things momentarily into here so we have room to, to work with these things. Oh, yeah, we're wearing level one armor. Fantastic. So let's take the... The thing we doodle off of there, we will modify you and chew on there. We also need to repair you. Yeah, and these we can just scrap. Okay, now the triple pocket mod, I think we can put on our shoes. Look at that. It almost frees up that entire second to the last row there for us. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so 
We got the ammo, we got the pocket mod, we got all that stuff, so I think we are in good shape. Grab that stuff back out of there that we don't need. Well, actually, it's useful. And we are finished with this job. So, I will meet you guys back at Air Trader. Just notice this cement mixer over here. Let's take a peek inside and see if we get a magazine. Yeah, look at that. We'll take all of this stuff, in fact. Very nice. Since we're here, we might as well check for some honey, too, eh? And we'll peek our head in that camper, even though we don't have any slots left at the moment. But we could make something work. This is not lootable. We'll grab the plastic from it. There's probably Zeke's in those outhouses. Really? There we go. <laughs> I was going to say, I couldn't... <laughs> I can't believe that didn't reach him. Damn, are you feral? Why, why is that so hard to kill you? Coffee, we like coffee. Check the cupboard. Nope, don't care about that. And we got the big bookshelf here. Just got to find the point that we can loot it. Knife guy. Yes, we'll take that. Uh, coffee, do we have coffee grounds in here? Okay, I think I would like coffee grounds more than one ear of corn. And I don't care about the bones. Very good. All right, let's move on. Ah, what the heck, we'll hit this too since it's right here. I don't actually have any honey on me. I've got it back at the base. I'm trying to, I tend to carry a lot of extra stuff with me. More than I probably should. And so I'm trying to leave a few things at the base. As, as long as we're working in this town and not like miles away, we can leave our, our a lot of our meds just at the base. And if we get infected, we just run and grab a honey before you know it gets to 5%. That kind of idea. The one exception to that is we need to carry a splint. Because if we break our leg or our arm or whatever... And the splint is back at the base. It's not doing us a damn bit of good, so. But we have a little bit of time on the honey. We can deal with some of the other criticals for a short period of time if we have to. But we've got to have the splint or a cast with us. Right, Arlene? Oh. Nice hit. At least wipe that shit off your boots before you come into my shop. All right, we need to make a spot. I think if we don't do it, it just drops on the counter, but I don't want to risk risk it. I don't want to risk it for a biscuit. So what's the least most important thing in our inventory? Probably six pieces of paper. Great, here you go. Don't spend it all in Puffer place. coats. Uh, do we need... Can we do that in our inventory or do we need a workbench? Because a puffer coat would be one of the best jackets we can wear. The other options are crafting skill magazine bundle would probably be the next thing I'd be interested in taking. I don't think we can put weighted head mods on knives. That, that's a nice mod, but... Well, why don't... Hmm. You know what? We're going to eventually come across a puffer coat or a duster. Let's not, let's not get that. Let's get the magazine bundle. I think that's going to be the most useful to us. We're still not done with you yet, huh? All right. Next job. Uh, we got fetch and a bunch of clears. I'm gonna make you an offer. Poopy pants. Can't nice. I haven't done poopy pants there. in a long time, actually. I don't even ass. think I did it in Alpha 20. Job done. Okay. Let's take a look at your inventory. Is there anything I want to sell you? Yeah, I want to sell you this. And all of this lead. And you know what? I'm not even going to hang on to that because it's so easy to, to mine when the time comes that we need it. Um, likewise, iron. Easy to mine. Let's just sell that to free up the spot. I think we want to hang on to everything else for now. Cha-ching! Thanks, buddy. Um. Oh, right. Man, I, I, 
I did it again, you guys. <laughs> my, my mind went blank again. I don't know. Maybe it's because today's the 4th of July when I'm recording this. What that has to do with the price of tea in China, I have no idea. But All right, let's open this up. We get two rifles. Nice. Now we can do pipe rifle three, so one more. Uh, we got fisticuffs, knuckle wraps, and then we should have got, yeah, tactical warfare. So now we can do pipe machine gun quality three. Good. Okay, I'm going to stop off at the base, drop all this extra stuff off, and then I'll meet you at our next job. Let's just keep pumping them out so we can get tier one finished. Hopefully this is the last one we have to do, and then we're there. All right, poopy pants. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done this POI. Like I said, I don't remember doing it in Alpha 20. I may have, I just don't remember. Let's check the short bus here. There's a little upgrade for us. Tom Clark. And Darlene. I'm kind of excited to uh, <coughs> to get uh, the attack speed um, perk going, but we have to get to agility four before we can even do the first one of those. Nice. Shouldn't be too much longer until we can make the workbench. We've been looting a fair amount of those workbench magazines. Here's another one of these POIs with the cement mixer, and will this do it? Nope. <laughs> Let's take a look and see how close we are. We go here and we go to workstations. We need two more. Yep, two more is all we need, and then we're then we're there. That's fantastic. Uh yeah, okay. Let's uh let's not get too far off track here. Chicken. Okay, let's do this. We'll redo the cars and the trash, and then we'll go on in. This is a clear. I just killed you. Wow, we got two hits off on us. 200 brass, that's pretty good. Oh wow, look at all the cars that put here. Very nice. Let's do this. Yeah, this looks quite a bit different inside from what it used to be. All right, let's get this. Possible ceiling ambush. All right, we're encumbered. Let's get rid of this. Let's scrap this. We'll scrap this and this. Don't care about the bones. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah, we were going to scrap this too. And then we can repair that. Chuck that. Chuck the chrysanthemum. And I think we'll hang on to everything else at the moment. All right, let's check this medical box. Very nice. Very nice indeed. There's got to be somebody directly above us. Oh, here, let's check this. All right. That uh, increases damage range and accuracy. Yeah, okay. That is going to be a potential sniper rifle attachment when the time comes. In fact, we can put it on here right now. Because, oh, no. Sorry. We can't. That's the schematic, not the actual mod itself. Oh, I see that sleeper down there. They're behind the desk. Make sure everything else is loaded. Well, it's a good idea to make sure your weapons are loaded in this game. In case you guys didn't know that. Check this. Come here, Marlin. Were you the teacher? Well, I guess daycares don't have teachers per se. Unless they're also like a preschool. We got 10 points to spin. That's a beautiful thing. 
This door is unlocked. Let's check the, the poopy pants bathroom. A little water, hopefully. We'll take water, but we don't want poop. Isn't it, is it Ravenhurst or Darkness Falls that has poop in the toilets? One of those mods does. <laughs> it's funny. Kind of disgusting too, but it's funny. Um, I think that's everything for over here. All right, let's go back this way. We do need to find ourselves a coat. Oh, let's look at these points. We are focusing now on agility. Um, let's do deep cuts. So deep cuts level two gives us 20% more damage, inflicts up to four bleeding wounds, and power attack afflicts, inflicts three. Stamina costs are reduced by 15 and 30% for power attacks. And of course, we'll find more knife stuff now in loot. So <clears throat> that's really good. Stam oh, 30% less stamina for power attacks. That's actually going to be useful. But you know what? I don't usually... Oh, there we go. Our first grill. I don't usually have a problem with stamina using a knife, though. Unless it's like at the very, very beginning of the game. Oh, we had one more point, too. Okay, so uh, the bow is the next weapon we, we, we... Well, actually, we use the bow and the knife a lot. So let's go ahead and put another point into archery. 20% more damage, 20% faster aim, draw, and reload. Okay. And then we'll just keep pumping those agility skills or perks as, uh, as we move along here. We already checked that there. Look at that. We got some bow parts. It's a beautiful thing. Bow parts used to be so hard to find. Super rare. All right, we're nine things encumbered. We don't need the sandwich. We don't need the sand. Uh, we can scrap this. We can turn these into cobblestone. That saves us another slot. And we can scrap these. We're supposed to be wearing these. So hard for me to remember to do all that. Is there a chance that there'd be a dog? Would a poopy pants daycare have a vicious Doberman dog in the yard? I don't know. I think those footsteps we're hearing are zombies outside of the, the zone. All right, there is a stripper in the daycare. What the hell? And a Darlene. This is really cool, man. I like the 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 new design here. They got the little little play things. I'll tell you guys a, a nice little little story here. When my kids were little, I've got a son and a daughter, both of them of course grown up and doing well in life. Um, but that probably opens that gate there. Yeah, let's keep it closed. So anyway, you know how McDonald's has, you know, those little play structures? So when my kids were little and we'd drive by a McDonald's, they'd go, I want to go on there. 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 <laughs> that's where, that's where driving by. So it's almost like the Doppler effect. It's just really funny. So my wife and I always thought that was really cute that they would do that. And sometimes we'd stop and let them go on there. Yeah. Fun, fun times. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we can open this. That'll allow us to escape out of here if we get crazy rushed here. Okay, I see the leg of somebody. No idea who that is. It kind of looks like Ronald McDonald, which makes a little more sense for Ronald McDonald to be in a daycare. Maybe not this particular one, though. Nice. We'll take both of those things. Yeah, baby. Look at that nice big screen TV. And I think that's all we can do in here. Wait, did we check this? We did not. More plastic. <coughs> Excuse me. Gazoo tight. Up the stairs we go. All right. So we got a nurse Nancy. I suppose it makes sense for a nurse Nancy to be in a daycare. 
She's like the school nurse. Beautiful. I mean, we're already kicking ass and taking names just with level two bows and knives. Can, can you imagine how good it's going to be when we get that maxed out? It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a beautiful thing. There's somebody behind that those shutters there. Rifles and armor. Very nice. Yeah, we should actually start seeing more armor because we're taking points in light armor. Okay. Uh, I think that's a creepy crawly. Really? There we go. All right, let's go into this room and see what's what the deal is. Got a purse. And some dollar dollar bills. And it looks like that's it. I'm not going to grab the plastic. I like what they've done with the place. All right, we should expect at least two Zeeks, maybe three or four. There's, oh shit, it's a big moment. Big Mama's tough, man. Okay, let's get a bunch of bleeds going on her. We didn't need to see your skivvies, Big Mama. She did. That's it. All right, so instead of putting a shit ton of, what the hell? They still have that texture bug in here, huh? Weird. Uh, instead of having a bunch of normal Zeeks, they had one big mama. She's tough enough to match probably three normal zombies, I'd say. Okay, we'll grab that. Let's check the passing gas here. Two uh, harvesting tools. Stone. Yeah, that's we're kind of behind on on those. And let's check the fat loots. Okay, don't care about that. This we want to save. The wood splitter mod is nice. Wait. Yeah, grab this. Go here. Modify. Put that on. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a nice little thing. I think we can sell the oil shale to wreck. We don't we're not in a position right now to do anything with oil shale. We will be later. Scrap those. Scrap this. And I think we're ready to vomitos. Alright, we can actually do this. We can turn all of this into duct tape. And that'll free us up a slot when it's all said and done. I don't care about the bone knife. Okay. See you guys back at Trader Wrecked. Y50. Let's get some XP from this guy. We can put up to four bleeds on him with normal attacks. All right. He should have lots of bleeds on him now. He thumped us a little bit, but that's to be expected since I'm super encumbered and I can't move real fast. Let's see what the blood... Look at all the blood squirting off him. I don't know if you guys can see that very well on the screen, but I can. It's kind of funny. Let's we'll see if, if he bleeds out. Nope, I think the bleeds are over. There, have four bleeds. That should kill him, I'll bet. Well, actually, you never know with this guy. He's really tough. Yeah, he's dead. All right, 2,250 XP for killing him. Pretty nice. We got a Marlene and a bow. Marlene is down. Yeah, man, we're uh, we're really putting the hurt on normal zombies, sometimes one-shotting them with a primitive bow and only two points in the perk. So 
I'm excited to see how well we will do once we get that leveled up a little more and get a little bit better weapon. I guess I'm going to have to pay you now. Find more Dukes and Loot. Lucky Looter Volume 1. Shotgun. We still don't have any shotguns yet. I think I'm going to take the pipe bombs for this because we could use those on Horde Night. Ah, oh, finally. Look at that. We are done with Tier 1, you guys. Woohoo! All right. So let's take the bicycle. And we are fitted. Well, here, let's let's go ahead and take opening trade routes. That's going to listen up, jackass. Take us you to Trader Jin, 3.8 clicks to the north. Um, which that might put us in the wasteland. Oh man, that's going to be interesting. We'll have to see. Okay, did we get any levels? No. All right, guys. So, we are finished with tier 1 and we had a good a good looting day today and we finally have the bicycle. So, um, as I mentioned in a previous episode, we're going to stick around in this town and continue working for Wrecked. And we'll start some Tier 2s for him until Horde Night 7. Um, and then once we complete Horde Night 7, then what we'll do is we'll hop on our bicycle and we will go, um, we'll go to Trader Jin and see if that's in the wasteland. Hopefully it's not. But on the other hand, if it is, you know, we we get uh, we have a higher loot stage, so that's the advantage. The disadvantage is it's going to be a lot harder. But I mean, we've done the wasteland before. I spent almost the entire season uh, season two of Undead Legacy in the wasteland, so I'm not super concerned about it. But it will definitely make things more dangerous. So we'll just kind of see how that plays out. Anyway, um, I might. What is it? It's day five. No, I think we'll I think we'll continue doing jobs on day six in the next episode, but I'm probably gonna take the daytime off on 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 uh, day seven and just work on um, hardening this base as best as we can. Okay, so that's the tentative plan, but we'll see how things actually play out. Nevertheless, we're out of time in this episode. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, and happy 4th of July for all of you who celebrate it. Why I'm telling you this now, I don't know, because the 4th of July ha will already be passed by the time you see this. So, I'll go now. Bye.